the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create boundary conditions. So this thing is going to be hooked up on top right here at these fastener hole locations. So the first thing we want to do is put in reference points just like we did with our connectors. Just put them in the center of the hole. And then we'll create a reference point set. We'll call it RPBC for boundary condition. And then we'll select those reference points. So now we need to tie these reference points to surfaces, so we're going to tie to the fastener hole edge. We'll go to Tools, Surface, Create. We'll call it Surface BC. And we'll just select those edges. So now we need to tie these reference points to the surfaces. So we'll go to Constraint, Create. We'll create a coupling. We'll call it Coupling BC. And it says select the set from, so we'll select the reference point set. And then we'll select a surface and select the surface we just created, surface BC. And then we'll make it continuum distributing. And we'll specify a radius of 0.5 just like we did with our connectors. And you should see it tied to those points, which it does. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the load tab and this is where we can assign our boundary condition so we'll create a boundary condition and we'll just call it BC and we'll select displacement rotation and we'll select our reference points and then we'll restrict U1, U2, and U3 that's what I typically do and you can see that it created our boundary condition along each of those holes. So that's it guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.